Hello LCS parents. Today is the first day of the entire school being back on campus and the energy level is high. What an exciting day. Uh, while we've had middle school and high school students here since Tuesday, I'll tell you those last two days have been a little strange. Only those students on campus, no elementary or preschool on campus. Uh, it was like eerily quiet. Uh, but today, everybody's back. Preschool, elementary, middle school, high school, and the energy is high. The noise level is up, and that's a great thing. I go out on the playground, there are kids playing out on the playground. I go in the classrooms, there's learning taking place already in the classrooms. It's great. So we're so excited for the school year to be back once again in full swing. For preschool and elementary students, this is your first day, and uh, we had a lot of great things planned for today, the first of which was chapel. The first thing we did today was chapel. You may know that uh, we've changed our chapel days and the chapel is no longer on Fridays. It is now on Thursday mornings because of the change to the middle school and high school schedule. Thursday mornings. So the very first thing we all did today was go into chapel. We had a chance for announcements, uh, talk about various things. We had a time of worship together. Let me tell you, the chapel leadership team hit the ground running today. Usually the first chapel of the year is a little rough because everybody's coming back, just getting back in the swing of things. But we've got mostly returning students in chapel leadership. Most of them are very skilled at what they do, whether it's singing, playing, uh, running media or sound. And on top of that, most of those kids are now serving in those ways in their own churches. So they, they've been doing it all summer long and they came back and worship was fantastic today. They did such a great job. And then uh, I got a chance to speak to the students this morning. I kind of laid the foundation for what we're going to be learning in chapel for the entire semester. We're going to be learning about the attributes of God. And I introduced the question today, who is God? And we're going to be learning about who God is, because that's really why we worship. We do not worship God for what he's done. We worship God because of who he is. But to really do that effectively, we have to know who God is. So we're going to be doing that by looking at the attributes of God uh, throughout this semester. That's what our scripture verses will focus on. And I'm looking forward to all the learning. Uh, and ultimately, we want students to draw closer to God by understanding him a little bit more. So that was today. Again, there's still stuff going on. I, I look out my window right now and high school students are at lunch and they're having a great time. Uh, footballs are being thrown around and stuff like that. So it's been a great day so far. That's going to continue all year long. A few things I do want to remind you about, some dates coming up very quickly. First of all, one you may not be aware of because we just put it on the calendar just recently, but Parent Information Night will be August 20th, 6.30 p.m. right here on campus over in the sanctuary. Parent Information Night, we do that intentionally a few weeks after school starts because many times when school first starts, parents don't even know what questions to ask. A few weeks in, you definitely have questions to ask. So, kindergarten through 12th grade parents, you are invited to Parent Information Night. It'll, be, it'll start at 6.30. We hope to go no longer than an hour. Should be fairly quick. We want to be very efficient. We want to be respectful of your time. But we'll have everybody meet together in the sanctuary. Uh, we'll give a bunch of information that pertains to everyone. And then we'll excuse K through 2. You can go talk to your uh, specific teachers at that time. We'll do a little bit more information. We'll excuse 3 through 6 to go to talk to your teachers. And then we'll finish up with 7 through 12 in the sanctuary with our 7 through 12 staff in there. Uh, and it's a time for, I'll do a lot of talking. We'll give a lot of information to you as parents, but we'll also have a chance to answer a lot of questions that you guys may have that night. Parent Information Night, August 20th, 6.30 p.m. right here on campus in the sanctuary. All right, the next one after that is August 30th, Beach Field Trip. Cannot wait. The kids are already excited about it. We talked about it this morning in chapel. Beach field trip. This is a family field trip, which means as a school, we don't organize rides for students. Families all go together. We, want, we encourage families to come all together out to the beach. This is a social opportunity. Uh, there's really no academic reason we do this. It's all for social reasons so that people get to know one another, staff and parents and parents together. I can't tell you how many connections, parent connections have been made on the beach field trip because we're all just hanging out and having a good time. So join us August 30th. We go to Dillon Beach. We want everybody out there by 10 a.m. That's when we start the sandcastle competition. All the homerooms uh, build sandcastles, have a competition. The 11th and 12th graders won it last year. So the high school students, their, their heads are getting a little big. Elementary students, I need them to step up and beat the high school students. I need to deflate their heads just a little bit. Humility, we want some humility. So elementary kids, I'm begging them to help give the high school kids some humility by, you know, taking that, we have a bucket that goes to each that goes to the classroom each year that wins it. Uh, I'm hoping elementary takes it this year. 
Uh, so that's August 30th. By the way, that is the Friday of Labor Day weekend. We tried to move it to another weekend so the traffic wouldn't be quite so bad, uh, but there were conflicts any other Friday. We didn't want to move it up earlier in the school year. And if we, the later we pushed it, the, the worse it got in terms of timing. So unfortunately it is on the Friday of Labor Day weekend, but that's why we try to get out of there by 2 p.m. so we can hopefully uh, miss as much traffic as possible when we leave Dillon Beach. The final set of, set of dates I want you guys to be aware of are September 17th through the 19th. That'll be our middle school and high school retreat. Kids love it. We are gone for three days. We go up to the Redwoods, to Mount Gilead. It is a fantastic time and students, they want to go to retreat. They would go to retreat every week if they could. And this is despite the fact that we sit in a lot of Bible study sessions, four of them in fact, all of them two hours plus. We dive deep into God's word uh, and we try to apply it directly to these teenagers' lives and they eat it up. Uh, it's a great time. Obviously, we're up in the Redwoods, we're at a camp. We, we have a lot of fun stuff to do. Uh, last year we did zip lining. There's a lot of free time. There's lots of activities to do. Uh, they have a pool, we went swimming. It we had a great time up there. Uh, kids are looking forward to it. Parents, it'll be $299 this year for your child to go. But again, that covers transportation, that covers food, it covers their lodging, uh, and uh, all the stuff we're gonna be doing up there at Mount Gilead, 299. We'll have more specific information coming to you along with permission slips very soon, but that's September 17th through the 19th for middle school and high school students. All right, it's, uh, it's getting a little bit later in the day. I've got a lot of stuff I've gotta take care of. It's the first day of school, a lot of troubleshooting going on. Students, their computers all of a sudden won't link to the internet. We've got all kinds of stuff to figure out because it's the first day of school for most of our students. Uh, hopefully we get all those kinks worked out today and tomorrow, start next week and we can hit the ground running for a lot of our classes in terms of curriculum and things like that. But I am excited about this school year. Again, a lot of events early on. We'll have a lot of events throughout the school year. Stay up to date. Make sure you're checking the school website. Make sure you have the school app. A lot of information right at your fingertips, right there on your phone through our school app. Make sure you get our newsletter on Sundays. If you're not getting that talk to the office, make sure you're on the mailing list. We wanna make sure that you guys stay informed about everything taking place here at Fairfield Christian School. Uh, thank you for allowing us to teach your kids, for trusting us to feed God's word into them on a daily basis. Uh, I'm so excited for the start of the school year and I can't wait to see what God's gonna do through this journey of the 2024-2025 school year. You guys have a great weekend. Hope to see you real soon. God bless.